Hey guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Fire. On the last episode, we arrived here at Viridian City right before the Ace Gym. Now, before you go into the gym, I advise you guys to level up your Pokemon to the high 40s, low 50s. Unlike me, who is like in mid 40s and low 40s, which does not really work out that well. Anyway, I like challenges. But this gym is ground type, and um, it does have tamers, which usually use poison types, and there are also. Um, what you say, um, fighting type users, so expect variety from this gym. Ah, let's fight this trainer right here. I'm gonna fight all the trainers, but I'm not gonna show all the battles. Let's say, guys, now. Oh well, a level 39 Arbok. Um, I think it's gonna be, yep, intimidate on him and intimidate back on me. Um, so I want to use with um, Flame Wheel since that's my strongest special offensive move. I don't really. Um, I like the fact. I actually like the fact that in later fourth generations they make you know um, games um, like Diamond Pearl or Black and White or Hard Gold or Silver that um, they make Flame Wheels regularly fine with moves like that that physically hit. Unlike um, Psychic or Psy Wave, uh, those moves, like you know, like I just mentioned, Razor Leaf and all that, are physical moves. So if you use Intimidate on it, yeah, those attack will decrease as well. Unlike in these ones, where those are also called um, physical moves. I know the thing I just said was really confusing, but I hope you guys got it. Anyway, Tauros right here, um, you can get it at Safari Zone, you need really patient. You need to be really patient to catch this thing, because it's really rare, and really hard to catch. But once you get it, it's like the offensive and faster version of Snorlax, because it's really offensive. It has a really good offensive stat. HP is okay, you know, but it's a really good Pokemon to have on your team. And Swagger won't do anything now. You could have used that earlier. The one thing about the Swagger is that you can use a berry to go make your confusion go away and you'll still retain the, spe the high special attack thing so you can actually hold, make it hold a confusion eva evading berry. So, yeah. Anyway, that is it for this trainer. Um, I think the next trainer coming up is a Karate Kid, I, I hope. Because I want to switch back to... Um, Speedy here. Speedy is actually my highest level Pokemon and actually the most offensive out of all. Um, I have actually a very special, I mean, offensive, like special offensive team. I'm gonna skip this battle. Um, Speedy grew level 47. Try to learn agility. You guys can teach it if you want to because it raises your speed like incredibly. But I didn't really do it because, um, I just didn't. And the move Revenge just annoys the crap out of me, so I'm gonna heal real quick. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna switch to Blaze again. And go this way. Um, Verdian Gym is closed for a long time, but now the leader is back. You guys will know who the leader is. Um, it's someone who we're really familiar with. So Sand Slash, I should have used um, Dragonair, but I didn't really know what Pokemon he was using, so it's well too bad. And a Tag Lord, so I'm gonna use Flame Wheel on this thing, and it'll, I hope it'll do a lot. Okay, it did. And of course, now I'm gonna use a move that has high on accuracy, which would be Strength. And oh, Cool Trainers, that's why they use Super Potions, and Elite Trainers will use Hyper Potions and all that. Oh well, whatever. Flame wheel. Oh my god, I hate you. Can you guys like stop? Oh my goodness, this battle is getting tedious now. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna skip this battle. Just because it's getting too tedious. So, yeah. Dragonair fainted! No! Ah! I'm gonna go and heal up. Anyway, after defeating all those guys, you guys can go this way, this way, and this is a very, like, unusual step, but you guys need to do this. Fight the black belt, I think. 
Oh no, wait, I did the wrong thing. Oh my god, I suck. I suck. Oh wait, oh wait, no, 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 you need to do the step, otherwise you won't go, wait, be, to go, be able to go the other way. Anyway, air lace on my choke. You just got choked, haha. <laughs> and my chop. I, I should have kept a psychic type in my team. It'll be really useful when we go to the Elite Four part, but I forgot. So, well, too bad. And that's it for that. And I'm gonna use Air Lace again. And that should be it for my choke too. So, that is it to this battle. I should not have showed it because it was just a waste of time. Anyway, all right. So now you need to go back here, here, and um, fight this trainer. Roar! Um. Okay, that was a weird thing that just happened. My I thought my computer froze. Anyway, I battled all of those three of you guys, and then I'm gonna battle this guy, the truly talented with win style. Alright, this battle required a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go back and heal Alright, anyway, um, now here's the thing I was telling you about. If you don't fight the Karate Leader, Karate Kid, he will appear in front, and you'll have to go back again and throw back from the from the right side, as shown. And we already fought this guy, and the leader is no other than Giovanni. So, he uses the ground type, he's really good, and he gives you Earthquake if defeating him. So, yep. Anyway, Giovanni is not really that hard of a. Um, he is kind of tough, but his some of his Pokemon are like really like weak. Like he has a Docturio and a Rhyhorn and level 50 Rhyhorn. For some reason, I don't know why he has a level 45 Rhyhorn. It should have evolved in like level 42, then he would have stood a better chance. But no. Oh well. Oh, by the way, Dragon near level get level 44, and there's a Docturio. Now they say that you can just get a Pidgey level 2 and you can fight Docterio because all Docterio knows is ground type moves apparently I don't know if that's really true I don't know you guys can try that if you want but I'm gonna try it and Docterio really like sucks and he'll obviously use Hyper Potion like every gym leader Docterio um, attack is high but HP is seriously low so he'll die really fast so I hope you can use Twister on it and kill this thing. And I use Earthquake again. I get to attack twice. I guess Dragonair is not that fast, or either Docturio is fast. Anyway, Docturio is down. And we get a lot of experience again. And he has a Nita Queen. For Nita Queen, I don't want to take chances. And I'm gonna go with Green Tiger. And I'm gonna use Frenzy Plant on it. And totally destroy it. He has a need of Queen too. Now I'm gonna use Friendly Plan. And by the way, Need of Queen and Need of King are part of ground types, but only water types are super effective, not um Aw oh, man, it didn't kill it. Oh well. I don't care. I need to recharge and it won't be able to kill me. I hope not, unless I get a critical. Oh well, a razor leaf shall do it. And that is it for Nita Queen. And now comes uh, Rhyhorn. Oh wait, what? You know what? I'm gonna stick with um, Green Tiger here and use Frenzy Plant again. Now Nita King will take more damage since it's not as defensive. You see? You see? Now I'm gonna use my Hyper Potion since I'm gonna. Oh my God! Oh yes. I knew this was coming, that's why. I mean, Tiger must recharge, and hyper. Oh, wait. Uh, ah, okay, hyper potion. Alright, there you go. So, that's it for Green Tiger. Uh, Um, Frenzy Plan? Uh, oh man. Why do I keep using it even though I know it won't work? I'm just wasting time. 
green tiger must charge and green tiger is dead dead baby there you go well it's gonna go with speedy and aerialize this thing I hope I don't get poisoned I don't really care if it's poisoned um yeah I knew it was gonna be poisoned for some reason there's always a 30% chance that you'll get poisoned and a 30% chance always gets lucky so yeah well, next comes a level 50, um, Rhyhorn, and I'm gonna switch back to Dragonair. I can't believe Green Tiger died, because I did a silly mistake of using that stupid Frenzy Plant move again. And serve. That should do it, hopefully. I hope so. Please? There you go. That is it for Giovanni. Alright, so we are 10 minutes into this video almost, yes we are, and um, we didn't really get that far, I have been really tedious and this video may have been really boring, but at least Brandon got level 45, Speedy got level 48, and 47 too, and yeah that was about it, and he'll give you TM26. Or, um, I, I don't know who to teach to now, if you talk to him again, um, he will disappear. And if you use item finder over here, you'll get a macho brace, just so you guys know. So, you can't really choose it right now, but, yeah. that It's there, just so you guys know. It's there. It's a thought that counts. Now, macho brace is a move that helps you make your Pokemon really powerful every time you level up, but it comes in a sacrifice of speed, to so you guys know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and next time we shall go towards Victory Road, Route 22. Until then, I'll see you guys later. We'll have a rival battle coming up next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and subscribe, and see you guys later.